Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Just a quick take of the broadcast here, friends. North Korea has declared itself a nuclear state after its latest ICBM uh, test. And, of course, the United States not wasting any time whatsoever in the reaction to this. Today at the United Nations, Nikki Haley uh, weighed in there, the ambassador for the United States there, Stating in one place here, this is the ninth time this year that the Security Council has met in reference to North Korea. Last time we spoke in the Security Council about North Korea's development of nuclear weapons, the United States made it clear that the future of North Korea was in the hands of its leaders. If they choose the path of peace, the world would live in peace with them. But if they choose the path of defiance, we'd respond appropriately. The choice, we said, was theirs. Now, Reuters kind of brings out the article, kind of reminding uh, the world what, in fact, they were speaking about doing, and that was the U.S. war North Korea leadership would be utterly destroyed in case of war. That's exactly what President Trump was actually saying would happen to North Korea in case of war. So the question is, is war really on the table, or is it just a bunch of smoke and mirrors? Don't really know. Can't say myself for sure. Certainly when we look at this from a biblical aspect, you cannot help but think that this is one thing that will be a flashpoint that ignites it all. I don't really know myself, but we'll have to wait and see. Also, another issue here going on that's very concerning to me in this case here, and that's RT America has been stripped of congressional credentials, while State Department says FARA won't change its status. Uh, well, that, in other words, what's happening there is we're having good old-fashioned censorship in America. If you don't go along with U.S. policy, you get whacked, you're out of the country. And I guess when your enemy is uh, part in the country there as a news broadcasting station, that's where the tensions really come in. But the sad thing is, I don't think RT really is an enemy of the United States, neither is Russia for that matter. But slowly but surely, our politicians in America have certainly made Russia the enemy, even though they're not. Well, President Putin has been taking the same steps to be able to restrict a U.S. journalist in his own country. Kind of makes you think that we're on the edge of war with Russia. Forget North Korea. We're on the edge of war with Russia. Talk about a nuclear ICBM uh, scenario that would turn into a nightmare. That's definitely one of them. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Do pray for us. We are getting ready to head out to Europe there, so we'll be a little bit sporadic in our coverage. I'll try to get one more good broadcast out tomorrow. Be about a day, day and a half before we can really get going again. So pray for us as we go. Shalom.